I think it's one way to judge an education system. Um, I think PISA offers us some interesting um, uh, conversation starters. I think, um, you know, for example, I use PISA, PISA data to start conversations when I'm working with schools around issues of how many kids feel that they belong at your school, how many kids can report that they're happy at school. Um, you know, I look at the PISA data in terms of, um, you know, absenteeism and all those kind of things. I mean, that's data that's really quite useful. What I'm not keen on PISA is the way that they package it up nicely in league tables, which then, even if that was all that, that happened, it, it, you know, it, it would be a, an issue because it buys into this argument of an education race, which our policymakers and, and particularly a media in certain countries really buy into and use that to denigrate the teaching profession. And I think, you know, you're not going to get anywhere. Um, you know, you're never going to encourage any teachers to get better by telling them they're rubbish. Um, you know, I'd, I've never met anybody who actually um, reacts well to being told they're not very good. Um, they might feel they need to improve, but they certainly don't necessarily feel empowered to improve.